Hey guys, it's Sam, and for today's Vlogmas video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite podcasts. So in the last year or so, I want to say, I've gotten more into podcasts. I listen to podcasts in the car more than anything else. More than music or even audiobooks. I listen to podcasts when I'm on the treadmill at the gym. They just make me happy. I listen to them when I'm cooking. I enjoy them highly. There's a lot of podcasts that I've gotten into and that I don't listen to as much anymore, but I want to talk about some of my favorites and then also some honorable mentions that I listen to occasionally, still stay subscribed to. And just so you know, I'm a person who listens to podcasts that are more like educational, interviewee, two friends chatting podcasts. So almost like I would consider almost like nonfiction podcasts, not super scripted for the most part. There's a few that are, but not super scripted, not fictional, not stories, more like non-fiction audiobooks almost, like giving recommendations, interviews with people who are inspirational, that kind of thing. And the majority of the podcasts I listen to fall into books, fitness, self-care, wellness stuff, and finance. So if none of those things interest you, you're probably not going to enjoy any of my recommendations. <laughs> so before I get started, a podcast I don't really listen to anymore, but that got me started on podcasts was the Book Riot podcast. And this is a weekly show for people who enjoy books and reading. It's what's going on in the world of books and reading. I forget their tagline, but it's two people that work for Book Riot that are just talking about the um, world of like book news. So it's a bunch of random things from every genre, from like the publishing industry, all that stuff. And it's fun, but I just kind of stopped caring so much for it. But I used to listen to it like religiously, and it was the only podcast I listened to for some time. And then I started kind of dabbling and seeing if you like this, maybe you like this. And I just discovered all these podcasts through mostly if you enjoyed this podcast, you might like this one. And I use, sadly, the podcast, Apple Podcasts app for it. If you have any recommendations for another app that's better about finding new podcasts, let me know. But so far that one's been better. I've tried Overcast, but I found that that one didn't have all the podcasts available. And I've just tried a couple other ones, but none of them have the features of me being able to find podcasts as easily as Apple Podcasts. But I also know Apple Podcasts isn't that good for finding things. So let me know if there's like a one that really has a good search function where I can type in a topic and find a bunch of podcasts on that topic because that's really what I'm looking for and how to find new things. But first I want to talk about the all time favorites. So this is my favorite out of any, this is like my all time favorite right now, out of any podcast category at all is Forever 35. This is hosted by Kate Spencer and Dory Shafrir who are two friends who like to talk a lot about serums. That's her tagline. But it's really like a self-care podcast. So the first episodes, the first like 10, 12 maybe, are a little more like product focused. They talk a lot about like Sephora and skincare, but they're not experts and they're just like hobbyists and they're friends and different skin things are trying. And then it kind of evolves into just like a self-care activism, like a bunch of things, life, lifestyle, podcasts and it's for everybody but obviously it's called like forever 35 so it's for like a little bit older maybe but not like you know super like it's just it's just like a really good cozy life stuff I love them and I feel like I know them they do mini episodes now where they have callers people call into their voicemail and leave them emails and ask them questions and it's about everything it's about like life stuff and there's a lot of focus on like friendship a lot of um, questions come up about friendship about um, Dory was going through IVF for a long time and she's not pregnant as of me filming this and I'm really excited for her because I feel like I know her because I listen to her like two times a week and food and fitness and they have a lot of guests on the show from different other podcasts or just people that are doing really cool things out in the world and I just really enjoy them and it just it brings me a lot of joy because it's a very like centered soothing podcast but that talks about difficult topics still sometimes but also not so difficult stuff and they set intentions every week of things they want to do and goals they want to do and they don't always get them done and it, they're just they're so great and I highly highly enjoy that podcast. A close runner up to that one but one that's not as regular so I don't really necessarily call it a favorite. I've gone back and listened to old episodes. This is the only book one I currently listen to and that is By the Book. This is a little more scripted but it's again two friends. One's a comedian and then the other one is also funny but I don't think technically a comedian and they're two girlfriends who read self-help books and they will live by the tenets of this self-help book for two weeks and you get their reactions to it and what they learned and what they didn't and their review of it. So the first episode of every book 
is them living it and giving their opinion on it. And then they do a follow-up episode where they have people again like call in and say their opinions and kind of give feedback and other people's feedback and all this stuff. And they have like seasons, so again it's a little more scripted, but still like natural feeling and then they I think they do like six books a season. They have bonus episodes. You hear from their husbands because their husbands are not living the books with them but get to experience it with them. And they're just really fun and they do a plethora of self-help books. They've done the like really big ones like the KonMari method. They've done, I, I can't even get into all of them, like the four hour work week, like those big ones but also ones that you haven't even heard of. Like they're just really fun and they have people like recommend books to them and whatever and I think they have three seasons? Four? Three? I forget. But I've gone back and listened to all of the books that I was even slightly interested in and then even started listening to some of them that I wasn't even interested in and then I got interested. They're just really fun and I highly enjoy them. It's like the only book content and podcast I listen to right now. Now I really listen to podcasts depending on my current hobby obsession. So for a while I was listening to a lot of health and fitness podcasts, but those have kind of fallen by the wayside. I don't listen to them as much or as regularly, and they're harder to find, I find. But for a while, I was listening to The Dumbbells. They're not one to listen to that much anymore, but I still want to recommend it if you want to listen to one. They are two male comedians who have their friends on. They are like fitness hobbyists. And then they have some friends on who also do fitness and they give them like recommendations. They even say like, it's a little bit of bro science. They're just fun. But I found like, I like listening to women. <laughs> honestly. So I was finding like the male perspective like a little just like eh, I don't really care that much. But that is actually I think how I found Forever 35 because Kate Spencer, one of the girls on there, is friends with those guys because she's a comedian and that's how she, I think I found that, her podcast and their podcast. So still working on the dumbbells for like some fun lighthearted fitness stuff, nothing too super serious. The current health and fitness podcast I listen to a little bit more is Real Talk with Dana. She is a nutritionist and I think like coach and stuff, but I discovered her because of Whole30. So I'm going to be doing a Whole30 in January. I plan on doing like vlogs and stuff for it. So if you guys are interested in like Whole30-ish content, because I've become kind of obsessed with it, comment down below and let me know. But I plan on doing it because I need it for an elimination diet. I know there are things that I eat that are affecting my digestion, so I need to do elimination, kind of figure all that out. I am not doing it as a diet for weight loss or anything. I just want to make that very clear. I'm doing it for the elimination portion, only for a certain amount of time. And really, my big reason of doing this is the reintroduction phase where you're reintroducing the things and figure out what bothers you. So I got into her through that. She doesn't just talk about Whole30 though, but she again has people on. Sometimes she just talks herself about something. She has a lot of podcasts on Whole30, but then just in general, health and fitness and being realistic about health and fitness and just eating healthy foods, but not being like subscribing to only like one method is what works for everybody and she's really healthy about that and just like kind of intuitive eating and stuff but she again talks about a lot of different things with health and fitness and not just one and so it's not like I don't really like listening to a lot of podcasts that, like just do one thing like I just do keto or I just do this kind of weightlifting or whatever like I find that it's harder to really take some of that seriously or I've, I listened to a lot of podcasts before on weightlifting but it was a lot of athletes weightlifting and I am not a competitor and I was finding a lot of podcasts about competitive weightlifting and those were some of the only ones I could find women talking about fitness so if you guys have any recommendations for female run podcast talking about weightlifting that's from a hobbyist perspective not from like a competitor or an athlete perspective let me know because I'm looking for more of those. I have some that I could kind of like recommend but I don't listen to them regularly anymore so again they're from like an athlete's perspective and I'm sure a lot of you aren't looking for athlete perspective weightlifting podcasts. Another food one I really like is Food Psych with Christy Harrison. She is somebody who is really about anti-diet culture. I don't listen to her all the time, but I feel like if I need a bit of a reset, I go to her because she talks about a lot of the same things over and over and has a lot of like the same kind of um, talks over and over, but it's really about like body positivity and no kind of like diet restrictions or anything like that, which I don't fall completely into that camp. I actually like keeping track of what I'm eating and I can do it at this point in a healthy way but I did find when I was starting to get a little bit too obsessive I found her podcast and I listened to that to give myself a little bit more balance. So I like finding different perspectives and a little more balance and stuff but she's really good if you're into you know anti-diet culture and all of that stuff definitely check her out I really like her and I like her uh, Twitter as well. So as far as more of the like self-care soothing ones that's probably my favorite 
category right now and so these are probably like right up there with like by the book and forever 35 so the first one is that so retrograde <laughs> this one is funny and sometimes can grate on my nerves like a little bit sometimes but i was listening to them like back to back so that's probably why it's two friends i think they both live in california they have like really serious vocal fry which i find a soothing thing to listen to i know some people don't but they it's called that's a retrograde because they do all this like new age stuff like they, they talk about that and they bring on like new age experts they do stuff on like modern witches and crystals and they do a lot of astrology but they do astrology in like fun ways too like they'll do just astrology updates but also like astrology and like what goes with your favorite drink and like they did human design they've done all this fun stuff and i just find that like new age witchy stuff like so soothing i know it's very woo woo and not everyone likes it so if you don't like the woo woo don't but like meditation and essential oils like so much of that stuff which i like again i just find like the modern witch stuff i find very soothing so i really like them and i listen to them whenever they have new episodes but when i was listening to them too much there were some things that just kind of were like eh like if you're not into like some vulgar stuff one of the girls is very into like talking about her sex exploits if you're not into it be warned they also are very like okay with like drug talk so if you're not into light stuff nothing they're not doing like heavy drugs but you know if you're not into people talking about like pot and acid sometimes maybe don't listen to it but i just tend to tune that out because those aren't my things but again i really like it and i find it very soothing and wonderful and they're great a more recent one i've discovered in that same vein is let it out again very much like that sort of great but maybe even more soothing so i haven't listened to a ton of hers yet but does very similar things with like new age stuff but it's just one woman doing interviews with people but i find her even more soothing and with less of the like borderline problematic things if you're not into that so maybe if you want to just like dip your toe into the woo woo try let it out i find hers very um soothing as well and just just a fun and then the rest of them are kind of financial slash minimalism type podcasts. I've listened to like the minimalist podcast. Again, I found that a little bit too like focused. I wanted something that's more on like finance and like frugality and you know, like my student loans hit, you know, and I just really want to know about that. And I was setting up my new 401k and like I had a lot of thoughts and things about, about money. So these are ones that I've been enjoying. And again, if you have any recommendations at any of these categories that I've talked about, let me know. I'm always down for new podcasts. One that's, again, a little bit more scripted and a little bit more, like, informative, I guess, or about a certain, like, set topic is Bad With Money by Gabby Dunn. So Gabby Dunn said, as notoriously, like she said, she's bad with money. So this was kind of her quest to learn how to be better with money. So she interviews experts about money things. She did a whole episode about, like, millennial money, and it's really focused on, like, that age group and how to handle money and, like, giving financial education because no one is taught financial education in school at all and it's a crime so that is a more almost audiobooky non-fiction audiobook feel to it because it is more scripted but again very informative and backed up by facts and stuff like that one i really like for like quick facts and and like really easy to digest financial education stuff is teach me how to money they have episodes on like really easy to digest topics like how to invest and traveling on a budget and paying down your student loans and what are 401ks and what are health savings accounts and stuff like that which again really like quick easy they don't post a ton of them i think it's like maybe twice a month maybe once a week something like that but i like theirs the most for these like quick and detailed enough like they're not super quick where it's like less than eight minutes but i think they're like around like 20 minutes maybe and i really enjoy them for learning stuff i feel like their method of teaching things is the easiest to digest one similar to that is money girl which i like but i don't tend to like as much because i do find some of their tips like super super basic but they kind of apply to everyone so it's money girls like quick and dirty tips like if you listen to a lot of podcasts you've probably seen this branches of media production companies podcasts they have like nutrition diva money girl like fit guy like all of these kinds of things so they're kind of quick like less than 10 minute episodes on money topics again paying down student loans doing a budget like really easy things but again i've been listening to so much financial stuff and learning financial stuff that now they tend to be pretty straightforward like i already know what she's gonna say for the most part but i do think for like beginners especially they're really quick easy to digest podcast to listen to. And lastly is one that I listen to that's a little bit newer. It's How to Money. It's two guy friends who 
drink a craft beer and talk about a money topic. We'll usually have somebody on that they are interviewing. These are two guys that are into like more of a frugal lifestyle, minimalist type lifestyle, but nothing too extreme and kind of just talk about money stuff. Sometimes they get a little bit like too banter, I'm just kind of like whatever. Again, I prefer to listen to like women talking about it because I do think that women talking about money is different. You have to bring a different perspective and the way that finances and stuff is not catered to women I think is important, so I like listening to female-led finance podcasts and stuff and trying to find more of them. But these guys are pretty cool. I like their kind of take on things because they're casual and they are younger guys and stuff like that, so it's not like Dave Ramsey sitting in his castle of cash telling you to like live like a pauper forever to pay down debt. I like some of his things, but I don't love all of them. <laughs> so yeah, those are some of my favorite podcasts for those topics. Again, I like self-care type podcasts, minimalism, finance, and fitness and health nutrition stuff. So if you guys have any recommendations for those kinds of topics in podcasts that you enjoy, comment them below, let me know. And again, let me know if there's any streaming app that you prefer that helps you find new podcasts, because I know there's so many out there, I just can't find them. <laughs> so thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.